Hey guys, it's Dan from DisneyInfinityCodes.com and I'm here inside the toy box of Disney Infinity 3.0 with um, our favorite Ultron uh, here to take a look at the new bosses added to the toy box boss spawn creativa toy um, with the new update. So um, I thought we would take a little bit of a look and, um, and check it out. So uh, let's start off here by going to our creativity toys. Um, in the uh, build menu. All right, here we go. And um, of course, just to make, uh, make it easy, we're gonna drop a trigger here so that we can activate the boss battle, of course. Uh, and, um, and now let's make our way over to the um, creativa toys here, the little, uh, the logic toys. So, um, Scroll down here, and there is the boss uh, fight, and um, it takes up an awful large area here. So we'll uh, drop that over here. There we go. So um, they've added a whole bunch of new uh, boss fights, which is really really cool. Um, essentially, all the bosses that you had in um, uh, Toy Box Takeover are now available to use inside the Toy Box. This is something that we were asking all the way back from the minute they announced this uh, is when will we see more bosses will we get more bosses with other play sets um, and we're really thrilled that they uh, have been uh, upgrading these and so um, let's uh, do a little bit of a logic connection here so let's uh, grab this trigger and we will tell the trigger when we step on it by a player that uh, to activate the boss I just. Well, now what did I just do? When stepped on by any, we'll just say any, to trigger the boss battle. Let me look at the properties and now we can decide what boss it's going to be. So let's take a look now. Previously, we only had Darth Vader and Darth Maul um, as boss uh, options. I believe those were the only two we had. Um, possibly General Grievous was part of the original three. I think those were the three, because those were the, the ones from the Star Wars playset, but now we've got Boba Fett, we've got Syndrome, Davy Jones, Hector Barbosa, the Hulk, Ronan, Green Goblin, and Venom. So uh, these are some of the bosses that uh, you can face inside of um, the uh, Toy Box Takeover. So uh, to start, let's uh, let's just grab Venom here and uh, and toss him in. Um, all right, so uh, kind of get a little bit of a preview here of all the bosses. Uh oh, there he is. And what I will do is I will bring in my trusty sidekick Kermit to beat up Venom. And uh, these bosses are way bigger um, than they are in uh, um, than the characters themselves are. And if you if you played the Toy Box Takeover, you certainly know that. Um, shouldn't be too tricky to. Uh, whoa, he's venomous, tearing it up. Got all kinds of great little moves. And he wants me, he wants to beat me up pretty bad. So we've got a really, uh, it's it's super awesome that we've got this nice little addition here. Um, that's what I love about the toy box. They keep beating me down and I keep respawning. Uh, okay, so there was uh, the, um, there was the Venom fight. Let's just uh, we'll take a look at one or two other ones here, um, but uh, it's it's nice that we've got uh, some new options. So why don't we fight? Um, why don't we fight Syndrome? See what he's like to take on. If he's anything like um, his uh, the Toy Box Takeover boss fight, which was uh, which was not fun. I'll tell you that much. It was tricky uh, with all those little mini Syndromes being uh, created left and right. Uh,
I'm not sure if, if we'll see that uh, happen again, but for whatever reason, Ultron does not want to um, auto target. Time for some baby Ultrons. Boom, 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 tearing it up. I don't think I have any of the um, the these the Marvel characters. I think I have them all up in my mini office studio, um, where I would uh, grab them and kind of do a little side by side comparison to see just how large. Actually, let me um, here's what I can do. I've got a syndrome right here. So here's my barely leveled syndrome. We'll see. This is this will be interesting. So there is my level two syndrome, uh, and we'll uh, trigger uh, big syndrome, the boss syndrome, and you can see there's definitely a little bit of a size difference there. Man, they are way bigger. But I guess that helps so that you can um, um, uh, you know tell the difference when you're in there playing. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, let's get this out of here because Syndrome will take, will take me forever and a day to beat up Syndrome with that 1.0 character. Um, but what will definitely get the job done, I'm sure of it, is a little bit of busting time. Oh, unless, of course, Syndrome freezes me, which he definitely keeps doing. That's lame, Syndrome. is just not having it. That second syndrome battle there was a little bit trickier than I thought it would be. Um, all right, and last but not least, let's uh, let's do a little bit of Hulk action. I just brought in the Hulkbuster, so let's uh, let's have the Hulk uh, and the Hulkbuster face off. So uh, there you go, guys. So, so there's all new, um, all new bosses for you to uh, trigger and uh, and and throw into your toy box creations, which should be really fun and uh, awesome. Uh, here we go. Man, he's big. That is one big Hulk. Yikes. button mashing here. I'm not doing a very good job of it. Ooh. Just inadvertently activated a little bit of a combo there. Oh, sweet. So there you go, guys. There is um, the, uh, the new upgraded uh, boss generator from uh, Disney Infinity 3.0 inside the toy box. As always, thank you so much for watching and uh, visit us at uh, DisneyInfinityCodes.com. We'll let, we'll let Kermit get in the shot there. And the new, uh, it's all about getting that perfect shot for the right, for the thumbnail. You know, you know how it is. Thanks for watching guys. Leave us a comment and tell me who your favorite boss fight is. Uh, that you can now build in the Toy Box Creator. And uh, let me know if you want to see any boss fight mashups with any of your favorite characters. Leave some comments, let me know.